A special thanks to all these super sponsors for contributing to the Ramp Project. Visit David X Newton on Patreon to join the ASCII Brigade. We've got a spread of uh, difficulties and lengths this time. We've got uh, length 4 and length 1, which is... Uh... Oh yeah, did you hear the voice? Uh, uh, my wife did these, and it's a fantastic uh, performance. <laughs> Wait for it. Lost Starport. Just having an American voice makes it seem a bit more authentic. Um, there we go. Hell is for Heros by uh, Bouncing Blue Soul. I, I shouldn't. I should not mock people's English spelling because uh, okay, David. Let's see you do one video in Czech. Try to do one level in German, and you see how that turned out. What a great. Uh, complex arrangement of uh, beams and bars. That's uh, very quake, isn't it? It's amazing what you can do with... Uh, I think this is just a Vanilla Doom. There's no 3D floors here. It's just the uh, bars against the ceiling with the sky beyond it. Looks great. Sneaky little hiding place there. A secret, was it? Yeah, I was just there. Anyway, other side. Oh, this looks quite familiar. Did I perhaps? Did I perhaps come out the other door? Yeah, okay, so they just uh, go to the same place. Right, okay, I've, I've worked it out now, don't worry. Uh-oh. There's the classic. Right, red door. It's impressive how uh, you made the corridors wind around each other. going in a bit. Looks like a lift down. Looking walls. Now that is an exit, but there are still 28 monsters left. Yeah, that's a misaligned uh, secret. That's good. Oh, there's this whole new area. Uh, give me a minute. This is 
like those uh, classic uh, extra maze bits in the episode one maps. I like this a lot because it's it's classic tech, basically, but it doesn't quite look like episode one. It uses slightly uh, different uh, texture philosophies. It's like if they had done episode one in Doom 2. Which made it a bit of a better game, I think. Okay, so there was that little uh, bonus area. Oh, we did that one. Uh... Just looking to see where there might be uh, more secrets. Because I haven't discovered everything in this map yet. But yeah, let's uh, escape while we're ahead. I love how the uh, windows go through to different parts of the base. It's just a really pleasant looking tank base map and that's really quite comforting. Oh dear. Fortunately, I fired myself up beforehand. Definitely had my breakfast. There we go. Fantastic map. You know, I discovered canvas textures thanks to uh, Ricardo and uh, Agent Ash on the GZ Doom uh, Discord. And uh, now that I've discovered them, I'm not going to be able to stop. Uh, we're at the Mystery Vortex again, as you can see. And uh, this time, we're going to Blood Bathhouse by Spooplet. Uh... Looks like it's going to be short, but uh, kind of intense. Oh, okay. Yes, it is going to be short and kind of intense. 229 monsters. We do have a blur sphere, but it doesn't work. Um, uh, Decino, uh, Decino mentioned just a couple of videos ago that uh, it's completely broken in this uh, version of GZ Doom. So, uh, good luck me. You see, no deviation at all from the blur sphere. Which is actually uh, good with all the uh, projectiles around. Sorry, didn't know what to do. So let's not uh, get into crowd surfing quite yet. I think that my best bet's on this middle island. Oh, the island seems to have gone, I'm sorry. Oh yeah, this is Battle Against the True Hero by uh, Toby Fox. Uh, Undyne's theme in this music. It's Toby Fox uses motifs just so wonderfully, being able to transform them and uh, put them into different contexts, different rhythms. It's always recognisable. What's the exit there? One for you, one for me. Exit opens in one minute! Yeah, no, that's fair. I'll, I'll just wait then. Get off. 
Au! You have cleverly anticipated my ruse. Yeah, and I can't, uh, <laughs> I can't use that from point blank range. Okay, let's go this way then. Right, punted all the way to the other archvile. Other archvile. Ah. Oh, that's handy as well. So I think I've uh, waited a lo long enough to get to the exit, eh? Well, wish me luck finding it. Where was it? That's this cavey area. There we go. And that's the end. I feel somewhat I've cheated this map, though. Let's uh, go ahead and clear out some monsters. Keep bit and tidy. I love that about uh, Grand Theft Auto London. Where uh, there's a question mark there. Um, instead of the uh, Hare Krishna, which was kind of dodgy, honestly, in the GTA, there's, there's this uh, foot, crowd of uh, football yobs, are the bonus uh, people you can run over. And when you do it, it just says keep London tidy. <laughs> Okay, that's us escape to the exit. Somebody else can do the rest. Let's go. That was a very pleasantly designed... Uh, do you call it a slaughter map when it's a bit mini like that? But it was a manageable mini slaughter map. Had fun just working through the crowd and... Uh, just making my way and surviving. Not that difficult. Kind of relaxing for slaughter map. I love this one. The Halls of Hate. It's so chirpy. All right, uh, we are going to do some Berserk Madness by Bennington2024. Okay, so far so default. Welcome, Sergeant, to Berserk Madness. There are three waves and the boss you must beat to get to the exit. Do you have what it takes to beat the madness? I'm going to be honest, probably not. But I'm going to try. Did you load up? Because if I didn't, I wouldn't survive a segment with just a piss on my fist. Good, you're ready for battle. Welcome to wave one. This should be the easiest wave, so don't get too excited when you beat it. Oh, all you've got to do is kill the 29 monsters in the room and out and you'll eliminate the door to open. I can't quite see the door to the next wave will open. Good luck, Sergeant. I'd better get a promotion after this. Yeah, let's, uh, let's do some infighting first. I think that's a safe bet. Oh yeah, and you've got some uh, scripting going on as well, uh, the counter at the top. And 
nine monsters. The trouble is they're all going to be caca demons, which are noticeably bitey and uh, flamethrower, really. Demon. Your attack pattern's so rubbish, demon. That knight's done well to survive this one. Survive right until the end. There we go. The door to the next wave has opened. Looks like you've beaten wave one. I recommend you get ready for the next wave because it will be harder. Just killed the 135 Vinkies and expect us to move on. Don't fall in the lava pit. Thanks for the advice. Yeah, my biggest problem is going to be being boxed in by them. Punches if I'm unlucky, one if I'm very lucky. Oh, here comes the here comes the pain. Allegedly, if you've got a corner, you should be able to Oh my god, there are a hundred left of them! If you've got a corner, you should be able to uh, punch your weight comfortably and not get hurt at all. There, there are ways to deterministically do that. Unfortunately, I don't know them. Let's try not to get caught. You might want to go and have a cup of tea while I'm dealing with this. I suppose what I would say to this is I would really concentrate on making expansive environments for this because the uh, challenge, while challenging, is quite repetitive. I could be fighting these demons among towering vistas and lava flows and spectacular things in your skybox. It's just slightly rectangular, you know. Biff our way out. There we go.
Come on. We were at a junior production of uh, Matilda, the musical, yesterday. Because uh, one of Penny's friends was in it. And some of these children, you know, they're, they're five or six years old and they're amazing. They've got these amazing singing voices. They can confidently be on stage and act. It's, it's amazing. And, and the uh, adults of the play were played by uh, uh, sort of later teenagers. And even some of them weren't quite as good as the small ones. There was this great one at the very end uh, where they... Uh, the, the, the Mr. Wormwood is... Uh, made a deal with the Russian Mafia somehow. <laughs> and the Russian Mafia arrives and this tiny girl with a furry hat as big as she is comes in doing this uh, uh, New York accent, funnily enough. For the it was the funniest thing. How are you, my demons? Thank you. Well, you've made it so far, Sergeant. I really didn't think you were this good. I must have gotten the best soldier in town. The next wave will contain revenants and navigate a constant tightrope to get to the other side. Once there, just kill the revenants one by one, and there are 18 of them. Good luck. Seriously? Ah! On the back at the start. I don't want to be over dramatic here, but this is a crime. Ah! Ah! This, it's so, so precise. And does, you know there are rockets coming at you as well. Ah! want to show you up by just straight from it. Yes! So there. Um, this is a difficult bit, isn't it? Because I don't have the advantage of so much cover. Right! Oh, how am I supposed to do this? Your reward is being punched to death. I suppose if I keep them within punching range, then the missiles will uh, sort of bounce off each other. That's it, you wankers. Okay. Oh, hello. That. 
that is the end. No, it isn't. There's no way you actually made it. I'm very proud of you having made it this far. You've almost finished this level. You must now beat the boss that rules hell. Good luck, Sergeant. <laughs> oh, you're a big, strong boy, aren't you? I can't really do anything to dodge him or anything, so I suppose we're here for a while. See if he falls over ever biff his legs enough. This reminds me of, um, uh, I recently went through Metal Gear Solid VR missions. And uh, they, they just have fun with it, being, doing gigantic guards and really silly variations on the mechanics of the main game. I think his hitbox is still the same as a normal, uh, yeah. How much health have you got? There's no info there. There he is. He's a zombie man. He's got 3140. All right. Not going to be too long if we get a few decent punches in. It's a it's a comedy boss, but it isn't a great boss because there's nothing you can do to avoid it. It's, it's just hold down the punch button and keep on moving forward. Right, that's all. That is our Berserk Madness. Good job of beating the level. Thank you for playing my first level, and I hope you enjoyed. There we go. That was a fun challenge for the first level, using things uh, a bit differently from traditional Doom. Yeah, I think in challenge levels like that, I, I would just say next step, build up your scenery, make it look amazing, and uh, yeah, just refine that challenge, find what makes it fun about it and uh, keep going with it in that direction. Ah, oh, my hands are killing me. We're back where we started this video again, and uh, this time we're going to Triple Zone by Soul Sphere 666. Oh, this one looks interesting. All right, mission objectives. Eliminate everyone in the restricted area. That doesn't seem to work. Well, I'm gonna need all three keys. Okay, started it. Oh, that's the restricted area. All right, never mind. Just practicing. So the destination point first. Oh, Sapphire Labs, Woodland Zero, or Hellfort. I recognise that one. Ooh. Oh, hang on. Didn't mean to do that. Um, shoot that. No. Oh, I can jump over the fence. Okay. Mystery solved. Let's go. Woo! Oh! Just so long to reload and re. When I saw hell for it, I thought that. Whoa. Okay. Excuse me. Yeah, when I saw Health of Art, I thought you were going to set it in uh, my demo level. But my demo level did not have the most unique of names. So that doesn't seem to work. It's interesting to do a lift uh, that's uh, via a uh, fade out and teleport. So I suppose. Uh... <coughs> Uh, let's try the Sapphire Labs first. I'm really seeing a lot of people trying out uh, more scripting this year. See anyone? 
Oh, that's a selection of keys. <laughs> oh. There it was. Good uh, delayed surprise. You expect to, it to happen when you get the key, but uh, just when you think you're safe. One. Seven more to go. Ah. So that's the blue skill. Aha! Uh -huh. Blue key over there. It should staffle is neat so good. And oh yeah, okay, I can get the key from that side. Right, what's next? Woodland Zero. Ah, uh, this one. Who is this? A tell Nazi? Not a great name for a hotel. Damn, that's really, really bad. I deserve that. You can find items in the drawers. Found something. I'm glad you uh, hinted that, because that I would never have got that. <coughs> I'm sorry about all the coughing. This happens at the worst time. Hell for it. And this needs we need the red skull. Oh, okay, so we collected the keys from all their different uh, themed environments. Oh! You okay? Aha! Oh no! Little help, please! Oh, you did as well! Okay. Well done, everyone. Uh, right, we got the skull. That's, uh, I don't think we're all going to fit on this lift. There we go. So maybe a red-eyed version of that door you could use for the red, uh... Oh, no. I see you around there. Oh, I didn't see you. 
to call that jaw. And I think we're safe. And we have made it out. Okay, come and pick me up. Oh, this is a... Not such a nice little ending sequence. There we go, triple zoned by Soul 666 what uh, a nice little example of adding some scripting. We've derived... sorry. We've arrived back at Mooncur's Cavern again, where we are being ref... Uh, in, in, uh, sorry, I'll, do, I'll start again. We've arrived at Mooncur's Cavern, where we're being invited to reflect on all the good things in life for a minute. By uh, Dr. Neuro. Let's see what, what happens. Take a seat and reflect on all the good things in life. Ah. Good things. Well, Penny's a great thing. She's utterly hilarious. Very clever. Loves to read. And uh, I'm going to teach her the beginnings of coding very soon. In fact, even though I live in America and it's got a lot of problems, uh, I live in Massachusetts, which is probably the best place to live in America. Uh, and that promises to be quite forward-thinking, no matter what happens over the next months and years. Um, Whitney and I both have great relationships with our parents, which a lot of people don't these days. Uh, either their parents have split up, or they've uh, disowned them because they're uh, gay or trans or, uh, or support a different football team. So really, we're very lucky. Uh, I get to sit here and play Doom, even though there's far too much of it. Uh, I do really enjoy uh, seeing uh, what you're uh, making and to be part of this amazing community. And uh, I'm very glad for advances in modern medicine because I get to take pills every morning that make my brain just work. And I know a lot of people really struggle with uh, depression and anxiety and uh, I've... Uh, been lucky enough to find the right combination to get over it. So I really do appreciate you all. <sighs> right, what now? Ooh. That's the end. Thank you for that invitation. I think I needed it. Thanks also to patrons of all tiers who contribute to the monetary and mental cost of hosting RAMP. If you'd like to support the project, please look at David X Newton on Patreon.